Hey guys, welcome to RNL Homestead. Today is Dad's birthday, and we're going to be cutting some big trees today. So we're getting the stuff ready. We're going to go down to the concrete pad and hopefully cut some big trees today. Alright guys, so we're down here at the concrete pad. What trees are we going to cut today? Uh, three. Well, we're going to try for three big poplars. I'm going to start with this one right here. That one there. Alright, so since this tree is all hollow, we think Dad's going to cut the cedar tree, try and make some room, and we're going to cut it down and see where it falls. For Christmas. Trying to walk away from that a little bit. So dad's cutting a sweet gum. We're gonna try to fall it straight through the wood. Um, and if something gets hung and it's too dangerous to go in there and cut, we're gonna be renting a mini X uh, pretty soon. So we'll just use it. But yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning up that tree. I don't have much battery, so I'm gonna try to save it for the big trees. Mom just came down with my birthday breakfast. Sausage, I think, eggs, gravy, and homemade biscuits. Mm. All right, guys, so me and Carolyn, just about fell. Me and Carolyn just got back down here uh, from eating breakfast. Um, Dad and her went back up to get her jacket, but I'm down here, and I'm gonna show you um basically the ground from above this stump so you can see it was hollow all the way through this part and we're not sure how deep yet like completely but so far up to that mark is hollow and probably more so we lost about a good six feet we were going to make this, we were going to turn it into lumber, but with it being so hollow, I don't, we don't know how far down it's hollow, so we might not, it might just be junk, but we're going to hopefully get another big tree cut. Alrighty guys, so we kind of switched areas. We were working over there, but we couldn't get a fire to start. And so we wanted every all the limbs we cut to go in a fire and burn them. But over there, we couldn't get any of the fires to start well. So mom and dad have been working on this tree, this maple tree that I cut. Um, and we might try to cut this big tree, this big poplar right here. But first, we're going to clean up this, I think, and then we'll cut the big tree.
Alrighty guys, so we've so far got two big trees cut. We've cut, I think, a couple small trees or cut up some small trees. But now we're going to head up for lunch, come back, and do some more uh, probably cleaning up. Alrighty guys, so it's the next day, and it's pretty chilly today. Um, but I got to get chores done, and then I'm going to show you the new animals on the homestead. All right, so these are our three little pigs. These two are males. The one little girl in the back is a female. Um, they're all from different litters, but both of these are boars. She's, um, I forget what you call them. I think a sow is when they've already had piglets. But you can see how small she is. But yeah, these are the new animals. We're going to get four. There's one more that we didn't get um, from our neighbor. We got these from our neighbor. And we only were able to catch three. The other one is a female. So we'll probably end up cutting the big one. And maybe even putting him and with the big pigs uh because we just need one boar and two i guess sows i'm just gonna say sows so yeah these are the three little pigs soon to be four but yeah super excited we're gonna put these guys on pasture right now they're in this training pen like we do with Basically, all of our animals, um, we'll put, like, the goats, we'll put them here and get them used to hot wire. Same with the pigs. We train them to hot wire, and then we can run them in the woods and for these guys in the pasture. All righty, guys, so one more animal to check, which is the goats. We'll see how they're doing. See how good they've cleared out this spot. Looks pretty good. And this is in two days, I think. This spot right here, they pretty much cleared it all. I'll, um, I'll show you a little bit closer in a second. Hey guys. See Edwards and Laura are doing really good. But yeah, you can see in there. It's not very... Uh, the lighting is bad because of the sun. Uh, but you can see the they're nibbling at everything getting it cleared up they still got that pile down there that will let them get clear but yeah i thought i'd come over here show you them i need to check on them anyways um but yeah they look good <laughs> all righty guys so it's the next day i just thought i'd come down here and show you we got two big trees down we didn't get three done because we kind of ran out of time um but also on friday is caroline's birthday november 15th so on friday or really for y'all on saturday um you'll get to see what caroline is going to be doing for her birthday she's super excited although she is a little sick she's got a stuffy nose and stuff and a sore throat so hopefully 
she feels a little bit better for her birthday. But I thought I'd just come down here and wrap up this video. So make sure you go down there, like, subscribe, hit that little bell button, share this video with your friends and family. Y'all have a good one, and God bless.